All right, guys, so we're, we're, we are live, okay, and um, congratulations to everybody who went to Jumpstart. That's um, awesome that you've invested in your business and in my over. I'm so excited. Now, if you still have your, um, if you or may have noise and you need to mute out because we have trouble thinking when we can hear noise. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it over to Marianne because we have a lot to cover tonight. And uh, I want to hear everything that she learned. Go ahead, Marianne. Okay. All right, so um, I'm up here in Ohio, and so I've got some team down there in Georgia and the south and up here. And so we got to go to the January Jumpstart with National Sales Director Leah Lachlan and Julia Burnett. Um, they're senior and, and under senior directors. And then our guest was National Sales Director Cindy Gress. So it's spelled C-Y-N-D-E-E -E, and then Gress, G-R-E-S-S -S, or whatever. And so I want to open up with telling you about Cindy's niece. So Cindy Gress, like one of her highest commission checks in one month is over $39,000 in one month. Okay, so she's wonderful. And she pointed out that, you know, sometimes we have crazy family members, like even national sales directors, they can't control their family. Like sometimes your family's so crazy. And so she's got a niece, uh, at the time an 18 year old niece and her parents, so I guess it's Cindy's sister or brother-in-law of some sort, hate Mary Kay. Like, they just think it's, they're, they're cynical, they're skeptical, you know, and this, this woman is, is a Mary Kay millionaire, and they think Mary Kay is crap and stupid. And so, you know, they're always trying to warn their, their daughter, this 18-year-old niece, that, uh, you know, that it's whatever. <laughs> but, um that family's broke. And so the 18 year old, you know, kind of has to do without a lot and, and take care of herself a lot because these people make poor choices. So what Cindy did for career conference last year, less than a, less than a year ago, she hired the niece to come to career conference and be her assistant. Okay. So she paid her $116.95 to come be her assistant for career conference. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know where this is going. So the 18-year-old comes, and she gets to see all the fun and the, the, the girlfriends and the sisterhood and the inspiration and the power and the people making money and the prizes and just everything. You know, like it's whatever you saw at January Jumpstart, career conferences times 10. It's the best because corporate comes in. And she's like, gosh, this is so amazing. I really wish I could do this. She's like, I just don't have the money. And her mom or her aunt was like, well, I paid you $116.95. So what are you going to do with that? So the girl signed up because she's like, how do I do this without telling my parents? So in the last less than a year, um, the girl, she just finished her first month of car production wow. early, five days early. She sells $2,000 a month consistently on two wow. to three parties a week wow. consistently. So this 19, 18, 19 year old girl consistently earns $1,000 a month. She is completely independent from her parents. She pays for everything for herself. And this is all within less than a year. And what she does, one thing that she does is that she prints out her, she said summary sheets. I think she meant like weekly accomplishment sheets or whatever, but she hand writes them out so that her brain calculates and she knows her money and her numbers. Like the computer doesn't do it for her. And she puts them in sheet protectors. And when she closes people, she was like, this is what I made this week. And this is what I made the next week and this week and this week and this week. And people see the money. She has doctors on her team. She has lawyers on her team. She has 50 year old women on her team. So she just does whatever her aunt told her to do. Just you know, basic Mary Kay, and that's what she does. And so I wanted to share that with you, to inspire you, to help take the lid off a little bit and share a little bit more of what, um, why Cindy is so great. Um, she consistently has a lot of people, multiple, multiple people, like holds the record for consultants and directors who are on the National Court of Sales and the National Court of Sharing. So like going across the seminar stage, like Miss America and get the free diamond rings and all that stuff, like make a big girl money. Um, and it's because of they are the intention that they have. Okay. So she talked about being transactional or transformational. Transactional meaning like 
I go to my skincare class, I do my presentation, I sell the product, I share the opportunity, and like, you know, like it's like a checklist. But if you go in with the intention of, I am looking for my next business associate. I can't handle all these people. Like if you drive around, there's so many people, there's so many people and we can't handle them all. Like at some point you can't handle all those customers. Like you need someone to handle all those customers for you. You know, like when you're trying to really develop a business, you don't have time to sit for an hour for someone to pick a lipstick color, like, you know? And so, um, but if you could find a business partner who wants to make just a little bit of extra money and she can take care of all her friends and family, then that frees you up, okay, to really build an empire. And so just going in with intention, you know, Mary Kay Ash said, in every skincare class, there's a new beauty consultant. And she teaches us in like classic Mary Kay and in the beginning of our the calendar that comes in your starter kit to say that as part of the four-point recruiting plan. And I think we've gotten away from that some, and so that's something I'm bringing back in, um, you know, is literally saying that because it gets people thinking. And so they are very intentional, not just checking off the list like, okay, I coached the hostess, check. Um, I coached my guests, check. Like, but just with your heart, expecting, expecting great things to come. So just really just kind of flipping it a little bit, being transformational and not just transactional. Um, let's see. And another thing, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just spouting out my, my notes here. One thing that excites me and motivates me is I got to see the three of them hanging out together like on stage and I saw on Instagram they had dinner the night before they're like for three hours had dinner together and like just having a ball and just their conversations are so rich and fun and everything and and that's what you really want you want quality relationships in your life and as you develop yourself you are gonna attract more quality people and therefore your your relationships are gonna be so much better like if you think right now that the friends that you can call on like, do you guys have meaningful conversations that like, when you leave, you're like, ah, oh, that was so great. That made me feel so much better. Like, could you talk for three hours about meaningful stuff? Not all the time. So if you don't, if you can't say yes to that, you have the opportunity in your American business to change your circle, to change your friends. And so I had this thought later, like I'm sitting in this, this chair. I'm sorry. I'm going to get there. I'm getting there. I'll stay with me. <laughs> so no, it's your job. You take whatever time you so, need. Yeah. So, you know, Cindy, um, at one point she was stuck at half million, like her organization, she wasn't a national sales director yet. She was stuck around half million. And so when you go to seminar and you're backstage in line and like, there's, there's the same people in line with her because they're all like stuck at half million <laughs> and it frustrated her. You know, she was like, I don't want to be here. I really don't want to talk to these people anymore. I want those girlfriends that are in the next line, you know, for top trip for millions those are the girlfriends I want. And, and it, I thought about that. I was like, you know, I love Leah Lachlan. Like she lives 45 minutes away from me. I drive through her town every single time I go to my sister's house. She's my age. She has four kids my age. I'm like, we need to be besties, <laughs> but I'm not there yet. You know, I have some personal developing to do you know, and when I become a national sales director, we're going to be best friends. I'm telling you, <laughs> but it, it just gave me hope. It's like, you can, you can shift your circle. And all you have to do is go in with intention with your business and just work at it. Like one teeny tiny step at a time, like have intention with that one skincare class to find that next wonderful beauty consultant, you know, and, and then you, you move, keep moving up the career path, DIQ, car, become a director. And then little by little just keeps going. So anyway, um, but yeah, so like if you guys were at January jumpstart and you just admired some of the directors and they're, they're like, they're fun and the relationship, like you can have that too, you know, like don't be safe. If you were sitting at January jump started. You'd like the people you went with. Like we love, we love our team. You guys love each other. Y'all are great friends, great um, accountability. But if you're sitting there and you've been there a couple times and you recognize some of the people in the crowd and you're like, you don't really have meaningful conversations with those people. It's time to change your circle. That wasn't in my notes, but I guess we needed to hear it. <laughs> so also classic Mary Kay. She taught us to as beauty consultants to meddle every month. So I just wanted to remind us to raise the standard. We should be bringing in three to five personal team members every single month. 
So uh, gold medal is five new team members, uh, silver is four, and bronze is three. So make your goal somewhere in between there to bring in three to five new team members every single month. And then on that note about recruiting, you know, at some point, right in the beginning, they're going to be just attracted to you, like, like to, to the opportunity, like Mary Kay, and like, yes, this sounds great, let's do this. But after a while, some of you will find that they're not just going to be attracted to Mary Kay anymore. They're going to be attracted to you. They're going to sign Mary Kay because they want to be with you. Okay. And so that's a little bit more for our seasoned people. Um, and so you've got to start leading with who are you? What makes you unique? What, what is your special gift? Um, Amy Kemp calls it your unique clay. And you need to start really embracing that, you know, like, I know I love people like crazy. <laughs> I will believe in you to like the day you die. Okay. <laughs> I have incredible faith in people. And that's my strength. And that's what I lead with. I have a whole lot of flaws and weaknesses, but I don't lead with that. Okay. And so, and that's one thing that binds people to me is because they know I've got their back and I'm going to believe with them, even if they don't believe in themselves. Okay. So think about that. What makes you unique? and let people see that. Don't hide it, okay? Be a light. Um, let's see, almost done. I will just bullet point real quick, mention that four point recruiting plan because you know the more you hear, the better. So as you're coaching your, coaching your hostess, you, know, you ask her before the party, you know, hey, do you think you would you know, enjoy doing something like this for fun or extra income? She's probably going to say, oh, no, no, not me. And you're like, that's okay. Just watch what I do. You know, that way you can be a good talent scout for me. So then she sees differently. Okay. And then um, you, and then you also ask her beforehand, you know, is there anybody coming who might be good at this? And so then she starts thinking like a talent scout, like, okay, who, who would be good at this? Like who could probably use some extra money? So she's being intentional now. Okay. Then you do your, you get your skincare class, you tell your eye story, okay, at the beginning, and then um, you ask, then at the end, you ask the hostess for, first, you know, so did you see what I did? Do you, would you love to do something like this? And then she can say yes or no, it's totally up to her, and ask those people. That, that's basically it, but setting it up on the front end before the party, then the eye story, and then the close. Okay, and then I also, again, I think it's still in Nell's calendars. Um, I hope so. Going back to the whole intention thing, um, Mary Kay's, she asked us to do two things, like sell the product and share the opportunity. And so I know for our area as a whole, we've kind of like um, seen a trend of not sharing the opportunity as much. And really, it, that is skimping on our job description. So like imagine if you went to your job and you've got, you know, like I, I'm a t I was a teacher. So if it's like, okay, teach this material in math, and if I would be like, I don't want to teach that part. I just, I don't, I don't feel, kind of, I'm just not, I'm not gonna, <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> I'd be fired, you know? And so when you treat this business like you would anything else, it's going to work beautifully for you. You know, you're going to get the results you actually want that the results that you signed up for. And so sometimes you just kind of trust the process. Sometimes it's awkward. Sometimes it's hard. Anything new, anything new is uncomfortable and so we just have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable you got to say that that's part of your affirmations is i am comfortable with being uncomfortable and then you can embrace it a whole lot better and so then you just treat it like a, a you can go back to that checklist if you have to um you know sell the product share the opportunity sell the product share the opportunity checklist checklist done I did it <laughs> and then once um, it'll become easy, and then once it becomes easy, then you can lean into that intention part a little bit more, like, okay, I'm going to lead with my heart. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to find my next team member here, all that good stuff. Okay, those, I believe, were the main things, and then I did get something from watching football on one <laughs> Saturday when I came back. Um, the Colts, his co they won, praise Jesus, and he said, you know, we won on the front end, and I was like, Oh, that's what you got to do with this cruise. You got to win on the front end. Your intention needs to be every single one of you. I want every single one of you on this cruise. Okay. Those people I've never met in my life. I want to see you on this cruise. It's going to be so much fun. I'm telling you, me and Chris, we are fun people. You want to be around <laughs> me and Chris, aren't we? 
Yes. Who knows me? Richard says yes. Angeline says yes. Yes. Courtney says yes. All right. We are so much fun. Um, but yeah, so everybody has an equal opportunity to earn this cruise and you, you want to start now and you want to front load it now and you want to do as much as you can now in January. Um, so front loading, win it on the front end. That's the best way to do it. And so of course, um, it's great if the people that you're working with here in January, you're looking for the people who want to go on a cruise with you. So you're recruiting the people who want to go on a cruise with you. And Michelle and Trinity and I, we're going to work with those new people to help them get the cruise as you continue to work and everything. So, um, yeah, I love the, we got to get on the balcony. Like, by the way, Richard Rogers, Mary Kay's grandson or whatever, I, I get lost on the family tree. They've already written the check for the cruise. They bought the boat. Like they've rented the boat. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. It, it's yeah. only going to be us. It's only Mary Kay. So my deal is if they're willing to do something so nice, for me, uh, I think the best thing that I could do is honor that by earning the cruise and getting my, like, am I going to be on the dock or the deck? That, that was our <laughs> phrase from there, which, where you want to be the dock or the deck. Okay. So those were the, the big things, my big takeaways from, uh, up here. And technically we were in Kentucky, but whatever. Oh, wow. So you went to, I didn't know you went to Kentucky. That's awesome. Yeah. It's like an hour South. It's just, just South of the state where I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. All right. You ready? I am. I know my Ohio people want to hear a little bit from y'all. Okay. So our main thing was um, this 80-40, the hostess plan. I know you've heard about it, Marianne. We just didn't jump on it before. Um, you're, you know, your, your hostess gets $80 worth of product for 40. Basically, you have lost no money. But the person who came up with this, and it's nothing new, it's been around, it's just worded differently. You know, it's, it's what it is. Um, but she went from, I think, 300,000 to a million last year, just from doing this. And so, um, and you offer it at the party, like you literally say, you know, you get to spend 80, you get $80 for the products tonight for only $40. You book your second appointment. And if you share, if you share me with three girlfriends, that's how you get this 80, 40, but they go ahead and they give her her check card number. And if they don't hold the appointment, then she runs the other 40. Um, but they have to hold it on the original night. It has to be three women over 18. Just really, really simple. Um, you know, and so 80% uh, of these parties are holding. And we all know that 50% of our parties um, usually hold it. And in the in with this hostess, it's 80%, which is really fabulous. And so um but the main thing is you've got to get these appointments on the date book and, and get the words to use. And so I, um, I started booking today. Andy locked me in my office and said that I couldn't come out until I got 10, 10 appointments. That's why I have no makeup on. And I have four. <laughs> I have four. Woo! But I'm still in here. Um, but you will let me out when, you know, cause it's too late to book, but in that fantastic, I mean, you just have to have that goal. Now the flyer that they use, sometimes they have a flyer to give so that it's got the requirements. I personally think there are too many words on the flyer. So of course I'm going to rework it. Marianne, I know you probably think the same thing. I think it needs to be simplified because it's simple. I've just explained it to you. 80 for 40. You give me your, you're, you know, I'm going to run your credit card number for the other 40 if you don't, um, you don't hold the appointment and you get three people there over 18, you're making, you're not losing any money. You're making money because the more people you meet, the more referrals you get when you play the referral game, the more bookings and whatever product that they get, you get that back and reorder business. You know, we've always said, always have your hands open to receive. When you hold on to that almighty dollar so tight, you can't receive the blessings. And so I'm actually going to run with this for the next few months. And, and I'm super excited just to see, just, you know, shake things up a little bit. 
There is a video out there, and I know it's, I've got the name, Marian, probably, you probably have the name too. It's two women did a video on it on YouTube. We will get you the name so that you can watch it, and I'm sure they, um, and write down their words, like their, what words they use, like one of, um, Jeanette Thompson, I love the way she said, when you share me with three of your friends. I love that. She also talks about, um, you know, uh, her recruiting. I will tell you when the way that she does her classes is exactly like we do. We play the referral game um, during that charcoal mask, facial peel time. She does the marketing but she does the ticket game during that time. And I had started, was going to start to implement the ticket game, but I kept forgetting my tickets because what I felt like with the way people are right now, I should not assume that they want to know what I'm telling them. I need them to ask questions. And so what I used to do was say, you know, during this 10 minutes, you know, you tell two minute I quick I story when you're in the beginning before you start with the cleanser. So that way you kind of set the stage for what they know a little bit about you, but you do not let them ask you about product. During that 10 minutes while they're masking, is strictly about the business. And so you can say, you can ask me anything you want. It can be about how much money I make. It can be about how many cars I earned. It can be about how many customers, how I got started. And you know, for every question you get a ticket and you wanna have your little goodie bags in the middle of the table. You know, we have a goodie bag for the referral game. We have a goodie bag for our green cards. We have a goodie bag for now the ticket game, just a little something like like it might be an old eyeshadow from the old formula or a product mini that's two dollars have those ready okay what I did with my old eyeshadows and my old cheat colors because I don't want to sell those to my customers I want them using and loving the chroma fusion so I took them all <laughs> and I put them in one of those black mesh bags and I put it in my my go bag for my skincare classes so that now I won't run out of, of prizes when I'm at a class because I've done that so many times. I run into the car digging, you get it. So, and remember anything that you give away is a tax deduction, okay? So tonight I wanted to show you my warm chatter bags because you guys are all laughing because I told you I was gonna start warm chattering this year. So here's my bags. I got these cute little bags from mygirlfriendshouse.com. Make sure you spell it right, because I've heard that if you type in the wrong girlfriend without my girlfriends with an S, house.com, if you type in the without an S, I think it goes to a porn site, and you definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, nobody's laughing. <laughs> but I had uh, Montana, you guys know she's our little graphic designer that is amazing. She created these for me for $10. She does all of your flyers and postcards for $10. I mean, you cannot beat that. And here's what it says. I'll just hold it up here for a second, okay? It says $10 gift certificate, shop on my website. It has my website, enjoy $10 in free product. It's got my name, my title, and my cell phone number. Now, here's what I know about this little thing. You're probably thinking, what? You're just giving people $10? And I have, a strip of the miracle set, okay? 3D miracle set. I have, um, you know, some oily, some dry. I handed one out today at the Mexican restaurant. I was so proud of myself. Um, but here's what I know about the results of this. National Sales Director, um, Rebecca Evans, she's been a national for a while. Uh, several years ago, she tracked her, her warm chatter bags. She handed out 3,000, and I think she went from like a sales director to a national sales director in three years. She handed out 3,000, and this is, how, this is how she built it with people that she handed these bags out to. They would log on to her website, she'd get their information, she'd book them. They'd log on, redeem it, she'd book them. See, once we have their name and their information, it's easy to book them. That relationship forming, connecting starts happening. And so this is what I'm doing. So that's my warm chatter bag. 
Um, I went ahead and showed you guys the other day my recruiting notebook. Um, my, excuse me, my, my recruiting packet, and Montana did that for me too. So if you want to contact Montana and make your flyer, so it's on cardstock. All this is on cardstock. And look, on the back side is the starter kit. On the other side is my four point, what people are interested in. They're either interested in money, free cars, prizes, or flexibility. That's what they're going to be interested in. And so put some of your pictures on there, put maybe one of your highest weeks. Remember, I've always said that your highest $500 week, that's, you know, profit on that is two fifty. dollars or if you've had a $1,000 week, that's somebody's grocery money. And if you tell them, oh my gosh, I've only been to Mary Kay for, you know, six months and my highest week is $500, I bought family groceries or I paid my car payment that month, that's a big deal, you know? They can connect with that. They can get that. But sometimes if I say, I've earned a million dollars in commissions and sales while raising my five kids, working from home, and I've had nine free cars, it overwhelms them. What they hear is 18 years, nine cars, a million dollars. Well, of course, you, make, you have a lot of customers. I was not handed those customers. I started with one face at a time, just like everybody else. You have to start somewhere, okay? I have fallen down, gotten back up, fallen down, gotten back up. And, and that's what I want to talk about. Um, so we talked about the ticket game. And I wrote down some of my thoughts about your journey for this next six months. And, um, you know, things always feel harder when you're uncommitted. So if you're looking at this cruise or you're looking at your free car, um, you know, and you're like, oh my gosh, or if your first reaction when you saw the cruise and you saw the qualifications was, oh, I can never do that. You're uncommitted and it looks hard. It's not hard. You know, like you look at the production requirements, okay, the re re production requirements in six months, six months accumulated, is 3,600 wholesale, 7,200 retail. If you guys were around me on June 30th at midnight last year, does anybody remember what my total sales were in 24 hours? Over $6,000 in 24 hours. I basically did what the company is asking us to do in one day, <laughs> 24 hours, one day, and they're giving you six months. So this is not hard. And if people are telling you it's hard, then you have to get away from them. For you know, you love them from a distance, but don't do not let them into your world because when people create your world, they create it smaller and no one should ever ever have that power on you. You serve a mighty God. He's a big God. And he never puts you in something to fail. We fail on our own because of our self-doubt, um, negativity. You get it. I don't have to go into all that. But when we succeed, God gets all the glory. All the glory. He gets absolutely no glory with us failing and, and playing small. Playing small helps no one, okay? And so let those roll the eyes, the negativity, the doubt, you let that be the fuel that burns within you for this next seminar year, this next six months. And that, and you get this attitude of, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you. That's how I've always been. And if I honestly, if I want to be truthful, I can thank my negative Nellies for giving me that pushback because that has fueled my fire. So when I, when things get hard, I think about her and I'm like, I'm not going to let her win. I'm going to show her. And so I owe my success to my friend who is my negative Nelly. Okay. So when your mind is made up, what others think doesn't matter. And so no one knows what you and God have talked about. Okay. Nobody knows the vision that he's given you. Nobody knows the heart and the heartbeat and how your heart pounds when you are in this company where there are women who are great women of excellence and godly women and they're real and there's no backstabbing and there's no, you know, uh, 
all the, you know, all the clickish. There's not that. I mean, you have some bad apples sometimes, but they don't stay very long. And so when people like I, my negative Nellie friend, her actual name was Kelly. She said, why are you doing that? All those women are so happy. They're just in a pink cult. Well, she was a, she was a burnt out school teacher who counted down the days until summer vacation. And she actually knew how many days she had until she retires. Y'all, that was when we were both 32. She was counting down the days until she retired. How sad for her. And I'm recording this, and I hope she never finds my YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. So when you are committed and excited, people will follow you. We've been talking about Tigger and Eeyore, the, you know, this last week. Um, People want to hang out with the Tiggers, the fun, the charismatic, people that are going places. They don't want to hang out with Eeyore, the parked car. Nobody will follow a parked car because it's not going anywhere. And you want to go places, okay? Now you've got to ask yourself, are you equipped, okay? Because if you aren't booking, it's because you're not equipped. What does that mean? It means you don't have, you don't, you're stuck. It's like, you feel like, oh, I can't book because I don't have a good date book that has 2019 on it. Or I'm out of sales tickets. Or I don't have the Chroma Fusion. Or I don't have the laminated flyers that Michelle has. You have a starter kit. That's all you need. Just go do it. But I do know not having product will keep you grounded, okay? So here, here's what I'm going to tell you. Tax, ret tax return is coming. Know your number, okay? When you take, if you've been in for a while and you've gotten all your deductions ready, you've got your square footage, all your write-offs, all your home deductions, and you go to your accountant, okay? And I want you to say, tell me what my refund would be with my Mary Kay business and without. Okay, make sure it's someone who understands Schedule C's and home-based businesses. If they tell you that home-based businesses don't make any money, then you need to go to an accountant, okay? Because he doesn't know his stuff or she doesn't know her stuff. And probably an H&R Block. Do not go to H&R Block. Sorry, I know Melissa. Melissa knows her stuff, but you, she knows. We've already talked about this. But... Go to an accountant that is not afraid of home-based businesses, Schedule C's. These are allowed deductions. Guys, I've earned almost a million dollars in commissions and sales in 18 years, probably more now. And the most we've ever paid, praise God, the most in one ever in 18 years is $3,800. My husband and I have always gotten a refund back, always. I, you don't know anybody that's earned a million dollars and had, has it's my, it's my deductions. It's my home-based business. But here's my thing. You get your number, okay? You get your number and you look at the difference. That extra is your inventory. Or if you put your inventory on a card, you cut up that card and you pay off that card. You want to own a debt-free business, okay? But having product or not having product will sideline you mentally okay you know something when you first start and it's family and friends they understand but mentally you're sidelined when you don't have the product so your business owner you've got to commit get off the fence and you're either in business or you're not okay so now here's just a few motivational things i want to say um when you talk with someone who is successful, okay, let's say you gave a quick, you know, you want to talk to somebody that's successful. You don't ask them what they did. You ask them how they thought, okay? Because one thing about this business, when you are emotionally unstable, okay, negative thoughts, bad attitude, it doesn't matter what you're selling because people People can see if you're an energy giver or an energy taker within 10 feet of you, okay? They can tell. That's why I keep talking about the Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore and Tigger, Eeyore and Tigger. When you go into somebody's home, you have to be energy giving, okay? Um, so get emotionally stable. Ask God to clarify your vision. If your vision is cloudy, you have to figure out why. Pray for God to clarify 
and give you the focus, okay? Feed your brain. Um, be who you are, okay? God made you, and God create, he created you. He wants you to lead who he wants you to lead, okay? You are not in this business by accident. Remember that. He already knows all of your team members. He put me at that baby expo in 2014, and I stood there, and I saw Mary Ann pregnant as a pregnant model, modeling maternity clothes, walking across the stage, and all I had to hear was, Warner Robbins, a teacher. You guys don't know, but I had tried to build Warner Robbins for years, years, and I couldn't find the right person. She was so intimidating. She was so gorgeous that I sent one of my tickers to chase her down to fill out our little registration card. And I think I've showed you guys her little card. And then I faked a drawing for her to win and I announced her name over the loudspeaker. She sends her husband. So. Be who you are, and if you get chicken, send somebody else to get their name <laughs> and then take it. So I knew that girl that I sent was not going to last, and I'm like, she's not going to call her. I'm calling her. All right, so God knows who's going to be on your team, all right? God will use your gifts. We, you all have gifts, okay? Get out there and get dirty. Um, work up some sweat. Um, it's called sweat equity. We use that word a lot in the mortgage industry. Sweat equity is like if you're building a house and you tell the builder, don't worry about doing the framing. My husband and I are going to frame the house. Whatever. You would never do that, by the way. <laughs> then you save, your, you save like $30,000 on the mortgage. So now you've got an extra $30,000 wrapped into this, okay? Or if you wanted to paint the walls, you would save an extra maybe 5,000. That's sweat equity. Get out there and work and sweat and build up some sweat equity. This is your baby, okay? Um, fall down, get back up, fall down, get back up. You are writing your story and it's making you more interesting, okay? If everything went so smoothly and everything was perfect, you would not be very interesting. I think we all know people like that, don't we? And we're like, oh, she's no fun. She, <laughs> she's no fun. You know, she doesn't really have anything that she can't relate to anybody because her life is so perfect. Um, so here's the thing. What is your vision? Okay. What are you seeing? Um, it's got to mean something because if it doesn't, when it gets hard, you'll walk away from it. Okay, that's why we always said, what's your why? It's got to have something attached to it. For me, it was, we, my kids were, in, God called us to put our kids in private school. And he kept blessing us with kids. And I kept having to put them in private school. I had to keep working because we're so deep rooted in our school right now. I'm president of the board. We've been there 15 years. That's an extension of our family. They're like aunts and uncles to my kids now. And so that is what I'm attached to. That's why I keep going when it gets hard. I struggle with the same things. People break my heart all the time, but I don't let them create my world, okay? I do hard. I can do hard. And that's something that you need to tell yourself. When, it's, when whatever is attached to your goal means something, you will fight through the hard times, okay? Tell yourself, I can do the grind. A uh, short time to get what I want, okay? You can do the grind. When you're building from the ground up, it is a grind because you're going to have more disappointments, um, more cancellations than, say, I would or Mary Ann because we have that skill. It's a grind. So here's the thing. We sell three things. We sell hope, dreams, and confidence. That's two. And we sell a little lipstick, all right? And so if you aren't getting what we're selling, you got to figure it out because you're not going to be able to sell. It's just going to be you selling, you know, your skincare, your lipstick, and you're not building a team. And I think that's happened to some of you because you aren't fulfilling your hopes and your dreams. You're just getting some pocket change to buy groceries. Okay. It, your, you, it's got to be big. Your dreams have got to be big. It's got to be God size. Like I said, you serve a big, mighty God and he has big things for you. 
I, I was just trying to make a minivan payment 18 years ago. Y'all, I will celebrate my 18th anniversary on Tuesday, January 8th. I just need a minivan payment. Did I know a third child, a fourth child, a fifth child would be in that starter kit? No. Did I know over a million dollars in a, a year to date, nine free cars? No. Did I know that my kids would go into a private school that would give them the, the Christian foundation and the extended family that we don't have? When we entered, when we started that school, my husband and I were new Christians. And on both sides, there are no Christians. Our, our grandparents are no Christian. I mean, they're Catholic. One set's Catholic, but you get it. There, there's nobody to influence my children but me and my husband. And so I know that God placed us at that school for a reason, to give us that foundation. Did I know that was what's in my starter kit? No. You don't know it's in your starter kit either, but I'm telling you, it's more than grocery money. I promise you it's more than grocery money. Um, so. 90, day, 90 days, it's a 90 day change. That's what's gonna change you. 30 days builds um, momentum, but 90 days builds a movement. I know I'm a little over, but please stick with me because this was so, this was, I needed to say these things to you because this is your do over. This is your new beginning. Um, 90 days will change everything. If you do the grind for 90 days, you will get on the scoreboard. I promise you. And the rewards is the snowball effect. God says he will bless the work of your hand. He doesn't say I will bless the work of your prayers. It's the work of your hand. Number one, decide what you want. Number two, your head and your heart have to be in a line. And number three, walk by faith 90 days. And you're going to keep walking by faith. Um, play hurt or don't sit. Play hurt or don't sit there hurt. All right. So when people break your heart, get back in the game. All right. Here's the thing. Here's what I want you to always remember. I'm almost done. I promise. Sometimes that person who came in for a short time. Remember, they come in for a season, a reason, or a lifetime, okay? Sometimes that person came in just to be a piece of the puzzle for just that moment in time. God just used her for a moment, okay? So you've got to move on, okay? Go finish your puzzle, all right? Go finish your puzzle. These changes that Mary Kay has implemented this new year for us, um, will catapult you to the top, okay? You are on a rocket. All I can say is hold on. You are going to the top if you'll just hold on, okay? All right, any questions? <laughs> Sorry, I was on fire. <laughs> All right, any questions? Let's see, what's everybody saying? Um, Million in one year. Michelle Cunningham has a video on this too. Oh, great. I love Michelle Cunningham. I got my degree and need a job. So use H&R as a stepping block. Oh, she, okay. So Melissa started with H&R when she was an accountant as a stepping block. Um, I might be, I might be chicken, but we can figure it out anyway. All you need is 20 seconds and courage. That's right, Marianne. All right, guys. So thank you. I know this was a 13 minutes past. You guys know how I like to end on time, but thank you for calling in and, um, I want to know your, we want to know your, know your feedback. We want to know what, what your vision is when God starts to clarify it for you. Um, this helps us know how to go forward with you. We are here. We want to put you in our hip pocket. You can do this. Guys, if you ask every single sales director that you ever come in contact with, how long did it take you to become a sales director? I promise you they're going to always say six months once the decision was made. It doesn't matter how long they were in Mary Kay or had been in Mary Kay, but once they made the decision in their heart and in their mind and it all lined up, it was six months. That's all it takes. Get committed. All right. Y'all have a good night. We love y'all. Bye. Good night.